My name's Dave Williams from the Wirral. I'm 71 years, of, well, will be 71 next month. Been out, outrightly gay for, well, 50 years or more. Well, I can go back when I started at the Empress Club. That's where I was dragged along to. And uh, when I saw two guys dancing, I couldn't believe it. And it was a shock to me, but that was the start of me coming out. But I would say my first experience was quite... Um, yeah, it was frightening at first because in the Empress, it was behind, everything used to be behind closed doors. You had somebody on the door and you, you looked through a keyhole and if you didn't know them or you didn't like to look at them, you didn't let them in. So that was my first experience and people dancing. Then I took over being the DJ, so we had disco um, going, I used to do all the disco stuff. But then I gradually calmed down and got used to it and it was became my life, you know. That's all it has been my life. And I've never um, not hidden who I was. I've never, I've always been out and proud. People ask me, I would say yes. We, we went to all that being clo behind closed doors and cloak and dagger stuff, not being able to walk out for a club um, unless you were in twos or threes. We'd done all that. I was like, no, they're not, they're not shoving me underground again. And then gradually I got introduced to the Liverpool scene, um, which I keep saying, if I don't get anything else, I've had more than my first year and half of somebody else's. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I used to be a terrible person on, on the scene, uh, known by hundreds of people um, for my work with Whittle Peninsula Group. Because um, when I started, it was called CHE, and then we changed the name to Woodall Peninsula Group. Um, but yeah, I've done the cl every club in Liverpool. I've been to quite regularly to go four or five times a week, um, and enjoyed it. And I used to tap off about four <laughs> times a week. Oh, the scene is very important. It's been very important for my life because it is my life. Uh, I am a gay person out. I'm proud and um, I've helped a lot of people, gay people, when the parents have thrown them out because I have a big house, I've put people up, taken them in, uh, run them around, nurtured them and I think to me I feel like I've done a, my bit for the gay community. Um, it's It still is part of me, still is very big. Although I'm retired now, um, I still support whatever's going on. And I think young people today should know what we went through years ago to give them the freedoms they've got today. But I, even now, if I see two young people sort of walking down the road holding hands, I feel so proud that they can do it. And I think, great, we're getting there. Because the first time I ever saw anybody holding hands or anything like that was in Brighton. I used to go to Brighton a lot. And uh, you see it there and you think, God, it'd be nice to do that up in Liverpool. And we do now. They can. And I, I feel very, very proud to be part of it. Um, most of them wouldn't know who I was, but I feel very proud. I feel like we worked tirelessly to give them the freedoms they've got today and to give them the club scene they've got today. Although it's not as great a club scene as it used to be in Liverpool, uh, nevertheless, it was still very, very important. I can honestly say I've enjoyed every minute of it.